Welcome back, SMB3 Randomizer Race fans. We are getting going here with the randomizer in just approximately 30 seconds here. We're waiting on one more ready up, and then we will get this thing ready to go. We are going to be doing another Group 2 flag set. It is going to feature the same flag sets that we've had on the last two. So if you tuned into either of the two first rounds, then you will see... No, you'll, you'll be familiar with this set, and... And you'll be knowing what to look for. So that's really the biggest thing here is what does a group two flag set entail? Well, the group two, it features a couple of things that are really interesting. Now, obviously, with it being a, a group two flag set, you're going to have randomizer, right? You're going to randomize the levels. We're going to randomize the worlds. We're going to randomize just about everything you can possibly think of in this classic game that we know and love. And the other thing that makes this interesting is that SMB3 Randomizer is also going to allow us to break locks with hammers. So we're going to have a little bit of a divergence here in World 7, which is definitely expected. When you're presented with three pipes, you'll get four different opportunities and four different uh, strategies that these players empower and employ. So we're going to see just a little bit of an interesting matchup here as we see basically all of World 7 between the four screens. So uh, my recommendation is to kind of keep your head on a swivel at this point and just, you know, look at who's on what. We're looking for a Island 3. We're looking for the third island. And it looks like there may be one fortress that's required. We'll come back to that, obviously, here in just a later time. It looks like YoBGS all deciding to go ahead and take on the super tanks here. It's a kind of a little bit of a good strategy to see a fort, play a fort. If you know that there's going to be a fort required, and from everything that we can tell so far, it looks like they're very well maybe. YoBGS with a weird cannonball angle there. Not exactly sure how those spawned on top of them, but highly unfortunate for YoBGS. So uh, you hate to see it. That is that is not a fun one. Sometimes because of the way that SMB3 scrolls both from top to bottom and from left to right you can actually pop up with the uh you can actually spawn something off the left side of the screen and it'll pop up on the right so that's that's what happened with yo bgs there uh, looks like three of our players currently on the piranhas um, just trying to get through there without any damage might see a pause strat not sure that we have so far but the piranhas are actually not built on the static Okay, interesting. So Claris.com, the first to find Island 3, and is going to be moving on here very quickly once he gets an item. He says, you know what, fill an item start. Going to make a quick stop here, grab a mushroom at the Toad House, and is going to be taking on Ludwig here in just moments. Meanwhile, both Ibuba and Teeks working on the Navy, making this look so easy. Now you might be wondering what on earth is going on there. It looks like that's much faster than I remember. You would be correct. So the randomizer, we have changed it to not have any of the auto scrollers except two. And those two, of course, are the 5-9 Diagonal Doom that we might see here later. And now that I'm talking about it, it's a very good possibility. And the other would be the Atlantis lost level. So the lost level of Atlantis could pop up and that's another auto scroller that we just like to throw in there to mess up these players. So we might see one or two or both of those. We'll we'll see. We'll come back to that obviously if we see them. Looks like the next one to get up to the castle is going to be Ibuba 7. So he will be looking to put a little bit of a lead here on Claristat.com but Oh, I, I apologize. He is looking to close the lead to Claris.com as Claris.com did just get through that and is now on to World 3. Meanwhile, Teeks is doing his best to get caught up here as well. Got a little bit caught up in the in the Pipe 7 world, but uh, do not be concerned about that. Teeks has made it abundantly clear that he is an absolutely outstanding elite runner and we'll, we'll have no qualms at all about catching up here shortly. Uh, Yobi GS having a little bit of an issue there. He's going to have to play Ludwig again. Looked like he had a little bit of a, of a problem there with Ludwig. Now, what happens on that one is the hitbox will sometimes not enable exactly when you think it, it should. So it, it is very possible to take damage that even though you're over the top of Ludwig, 
if he doesn't open up properly, if he has any kind of a problem with his pixels, then the hitbox may not trigger like you expect it to. And that actually could be a little bit of an issue, uh, especially for our runners who are trying to get through Ludwig in a very good and quick way. Uh, that, that tends to be a little bit of a, of a problem. But uh, shout outs to Rain and Mania for the background today. They've been kind enough to put this together with us and we really appreciate all their work and all of their their uh, prowess in this regard we do love the background as well it will shift so notice as we go from world to world and we would have just seen it there with your bgs that it will in fact change based on the level these players are on so this is world threes now obviously exemplified by the fact that we have a lot of water here and uh fitting so we did see that the pipe to Wendy is actually pretty well open here at this point. And we're going to be looking to see which fortress is it that breaks it. Now, as I was talking about previously, we have randomized the levels, we've randomized the worlds, we've randomized just about everything. But one thing that we have done a little bit differently than the vanilla game is that we've also allowed our runners to break hammers or to use hammers to break blocks and rocks. So those are going to be dual purpose here and we'll we'll look out for those key items obviously those are some really really good things that our runners will be able to utilize to to their advantage in these different in routes and strategies and worlds and whatnot so as our runners cut get through 3f1 or 3f2 here excuse me uh we have yo bgs currently working on 4-3 he's looking to not take any further damage however that is very difficult to do especially with the spinies dropping from the ceiling, and he's going to take an unfortunate death there with the bob -omb. So, unfortunate death there, but he will have to go back and play it again as it's required, and he does not have a hammer to break the lock in front of Wendy's castle. So he's got a little bit of work still to do as well. All three runners still attempting to figure out which is the right way, and it looks like Tix is going to go ahead and jump back for just a moment. He wants to play the end card game. Now, something to note about this end card memory game is that it is not what you would remember as a kid. So not only have we randomized the card game, we have also randomized the items that you receive from the end card games, pairs and matches that you would get. So interestingly enough, this is going to be a fun one. Uh, to see like what exactly it matches up with so obviously there are 18 cards and that means there's nine pairs three of them are the one up the 10 coin and the 20 coin and then the other three are two sets of each two stars two mushrooms and two flowers and so long as you make the match you will get an item for that but what that item is well we don't know yet we're gonna have to figure that out uh, as we have red left those random if you match two flowers you're not going to necessarily get two flowers Currently, we are nearly synced, almost in a mirror image, between ibuba 7 and Claris.com, and even Teats. Teats is, is right in there with them. All three of these runners just blazing through this as we have two worlds so far down. Chat, what's coming up next? I'm taking a guess for ch Channel 4. I think, not Channel 4, I apologize, World 4. I think we need to go to the Land of the Giants and uh, see what we've got here. Now, I didn't get a clear look on that item. Okay, yeah, it looks like it's a, a music box that came from Princess Peach. Not exactly the best of tools here, especially as our runners are really just not that concerned about it. Hammer Brothers can hold some very good items at some point. So, uh, you know, not necessarily one that you want to skip here. Although with the addition of the end card game here, you can actually get more items quicker by playing the end card, especially if you can get some some matches and uh, get some really good items out of that so they'll be looking for the hammer brothers they'll be looking for hammers they'll be looking for clouds they'll be looking for the items that give them that clear distinct edge and advantage and uh, get a chance to get going on that so yo bgs to the fourth to get in had a really really rocky rough start with a couple of very poorly timed uh, pixel issues so i he did have an issue with the, the cannonballs coming at him on the right side of the screen once he was at the very end of the tanks level. And then, of course, against the Ludwig boss fight, he had a little bit of an issue there. But hopefully he can come back and, and get back into it. And if anybody can, I know for sure he can. Tink's going for a level skip here. Not really uh, 
successful there, so he's decided to go ahead and play it. Not a bad one to go ahead and play. If you get the skip, it does save a bit of time, but the skip is not all that easy to do. So usually runners will try once, maybe twice, just to get, give it a shot, give a little showmanship, and then go ahead and play through it because it's still not a terribly difficult level. Claristat.com just a little bit behind IV with seven here, about a half half a level behind and as Electro Llama pointed out you are absolutely correct he did have the correct subpixel unfortunately it did not take and that does happen as well so un a little bit of an unfortunate circumstance there for Teeks but no big deal at all that will not deter him in the slightest does get a star here so we might be able to get nope not going to be able to get the the p-speed here but that does not oh interesting so Teeks will sometimes go for a a clip on the the right pipe that it's a very small one panel clip and if you're able to hit it you'll actually clip through the pipe there on the bottom and that will open you up to the space underneath where he is now and then that will allow him to clip one more time to get into this room so you don't have to play the top route necessarily and uh, maybe he was deterred because of the angry sun there but either way he is now through and we see Yopi GS currently on a coin ship. It will have a dual boomerang brother at the end, so he'll get those taken care of and re be rewarded with an item. Ivy with seven currently going through a pseudo auto scroller. It's not exactly an auto scroller, but you do have to wait for the clouds at times, especially if you want to be a little bit on the safer side and not take a hugely risky strategy here. Meanwhile, Claire Stat Cap doing his absolute best to get caught up still about a half level behind ivy book and folks if there's one thing i know about randomizer it is that you have no lead until bowser is finished that's it uh, world eight can be a great equalizer world six depending on the item management can be a huge equalizer world seven we've already seen played so not really going to be a huge equalizer there world five depending on how the, the tower the pipe is going to be set up could be a, an issue and could be an equalizer as well. Claris.com going for a in card, but interestingly enough, Ivy of Seven just got a hammer for that. So we'll watch to see if Claris.com is able to get that hammer as well, or if he opts to skip it. Because if he does not get that, that's going to be a bit of an advantage for Ivy of Seven. We'll come back to that. Meanwhile, Teeks and Ivy of Seven nearly in a sync up here. Uh, Teeks just a slight little bit up behind. Um, maybe 10 seconds at this point. YoBG is still working on getting caught up as well. All right, that was one of the two Hammer Brothers. He opts to take a star, so Claris.com will get through this Boomerang Brother as it's nothing, and he will, in fact, have the Hammer as well. So well played on his part. That's the, the biggest thing, is that if your opponent is crazy enough to do it, you need to be crazy enough to do it as well. As you can get those hammers, you can get the things that are really, really good for you and will give you a chance to actually get back in into this race as well. And a couple of gutsy plays can definitely be the sway of the game or the detriment of the game. So we'll come back to that as the hammers become used within the seed and see where they are used and played and all that. So Teeks the first one to get to the world world four airship and we'll be blazing through here with the p-wing speed we love to see that it looks so good uh, you don't always get that with actually you do not get that with the 100 percent vanilla runs or the workless runs but it is a lot of fun to see for sure meanwhile both claris.com and ivy with seven in a near like near matchup i mean they are so close at this point I mean, three hits for Boom Boom. So Claris.com is going to be finishing this route or this room as Ivy of Seven is getting out of the room. So very well played on both fronts. Uh, the OBGS with another coin ship here. So he'll be blazing through it as, as fast as possible. Uh, definitely some very close runs here so far. The OBGS needs to get a little bit of a, a lucky streak here, but uh, certainly not out of it either. As we move into the next world, that is going to be the Desert Oasis as we get into World 2 from Vanilla. And we are greeted with 8F1 to get started here. 
So not a fun one at all, and one that if you can get through even a small Mario, you are thankful that you don't have to play it again. Peace Beach tracks there are definitely difficult, and you are just usually happy to see people get through it. At least I know I am. Sometimes a safe and less risky... Okay, interesting. A less risky strategy is a little bit better, because a death is the longest uh, or the most time loss that you can take there ultimately and playing a little bit safer is a good option so it's very interesting teeks opted to go ahead and play uh-oh teeks opted to go ahead and use a cloud there and it looks like he's having a little bit of a glitch here really hoping he doesn't take a any kind of a soft lock or anything like that looking for a hammer not going to find it so he's going to have to okay he's going to opt to take another cloud and then go ahead and go through the, the boomerang brother with the little bit of a, a almost clip I would say uh, as he is able to like as the screen's transitioning he doesn't actually have to play the hammer brothers we're gonna have to keep an eye on Teeks though his screen is a little bit concerning but he knows these levels better than just about anyone and hopefully he doesn't have an issue further obviously a restart at this point would be a death sentence on his run hopefully we don't see that Obviously, we want all of our players to run to their best of their ability, and that also includes the emulator. So, we'll come back to that as well. IB with 7 and Claris.com nearly neck and neck at this point. One's playing 2-4, the other's playing 2-5. I mean, golly, like, could you ask for a better run at this point? The OBGS also doing his best to get caught up here, and is currently going through the route, the World 4 airship, and just doing his best not to die. All right, that looks like it's going to be pretty good, and he'll be able to get through, no problem. And Teeks trying to take a little bit of a safer route through this World 3 airship, and he will do so with that tail. A little surprised he did not take the Peace Beach Strat up through there, just to go ahead and fly through. But he was rewarded with a star, so he'll be able to take on Morton from World 2 here very quickly. And thankfully it's a one shot. I was a little bit concerned. It looks like the background is sort of interfering with Teeks. Hopefully that doesn't play a factor. Uh, Clarice.com going for the upper route. Realized that the lock was not in his way. Decided to go ahead and do that and be rewarded with an extra item. That's not enough though. He wants another one. So he's going to go ahead and take down this hammer bro and see what he's got. And it is a mushroom. A very valuable, very vanilla, super item to have. So, Claris.com has taken a little bit of an advantage here. Interestingly enough, though, it's because Claris.com used the same strategy that Teeks did and went ahead and used the clouds that he had. So, that is going to be a extra hammer for Claris.com. This is interesting to see for sure, folks. This game is not over, though. We may have a little bit of a lead, but the resources that Claris.com used would maybe be used later and that's where IV with seven plans to use them so very interesting to see how this goes but there's also the possibility of playing more in cards and getting more items so we're not done yet we still got a ways to go here yo bgs currently making his way through 8 1 hopefully not going to take any damage here as this is a little tight wow that was a incredible jump he managed to sew or thread the needle between all three or all four of the bullet bills and was able to go back and get the tail. I don't know that I've ever seen that before. I try that and I die three different times on the same jump. It doesn't work for me. But he was able to get through there regardless as well. And he did take small Mario. Sometimes that's happened and that's the best you can do. We are going to be joining up Claris.com here. Just going for an easy run through. Doesn't need to go too fast, just he needs to survive. So, and he will do so. Very good on his part. And it looks like IV was 7 looking for some peace speed. Does not get it, so now has to make the decision of what he wants to do here. He had a dry bone, so that's not going to be an issue at all for him to fly up. And uh, Teak's looking like he's still hanging in there. Uh, hopefully the emulator sticks out here. Obviously we want the best race we can get. And... Uh, We'll come back to that also. Oh, unfortunate death there from Yo, B Yo BGS on 2-4. Uh, 
So he's going to have to re-decide what he wants to do here. Looks like he's going to take a star. Doesn't want to take any chances. And will go for the P-Speed route himself as he attempts to get through here as quickly as possible. Doing a little bit of a turn back just to make sure he doesn't run out of star. Teak's doing his classic uh, jump back with the 7F or 7F1. So he's going to go ahead and take an intentional out here. And then he's going to come right back into this with a tail and or a Pee-Wee. So he is going to equip the tail and he is on his way through 7F1 or 7F, yeah, 7F1, and he will be finishing here in just moments as he does get to Boom Boom and very quick pace. Now, meanwhile, Yobi GS is just trying to get through 2-5 here, doesn't want to take a death, and will be through here as well. Claris.com with the tail, so he's going to go ahead and burn through here. Took a little bit of a stoppage there just to make sure the fly, the, uh, P speed didn't actually trigger too quickly. It does have 256 frames from the point of flying, or even just jumping. The game thinks a jump is flying because that's how you start it. So you do have 256 frames, and unfortunately, if you take a jump there before your P speed is, or once your P speed is established, you do not make the pipe at the top. So you actually have to start over getting your P speed, and that is why he took a little bit of a turn back there. As we saw the runners take on uh, Fortress 1F, World 1's Fortress, I should say. We The reason that these runners are going for this item here is A, it's a free item, B, it's quicker, and C, it does not need to be beat for World 1 Fortress to be required in the route. However, it can still alter it. So if there's two ways to get to the castle, the World 1 Fortress may block one of them. But in this case, that was not necessary on either way. But... Um, Definitely interesting to see for sure. Ivy was seven already on World 5's castle. He made no qualms about using a hammer there, and that's going to catch him up and actually be in the lead at this point. So unless we see something from Claris.com, we have a new leader. Yogi GS just doing his best to get through here as well. And he will do so, no big deal there. He will finish up the World 3 airship, and that's going to be it for Morton. Single shot Morton, no big deal. Teak's currently finding his level. We'll have to get a wing. Does not opt to use the cliff there. So he's going to go ahead and go the old-fashioned route, it looks like. Glares.com doing his best to catch up. He's about a half an airship away from Ibuva right now, so about a 45 second difference between these two as it takes about 32 seconds to get through. And Roy the Boy Koopa will be here waiting for Claris.com and is not going to be friendly towards him. This is a, a five shot Roy with Earthquake. If that's not enough to concern just anybody, that's uh, wow. Yeah, that's something else there. But he was still able to get through. Even a small Mario, he got through. And that was very well played on his part. That is a very strict, difficult boss to get through. Especially when it's a 5-hit Earthquaker. And to get through the first time is what you have to do. Uh, these runners are really, really good. And any slight mistake will cost you. Big time. So, very well played on his part. It looks like he's going to go directly for the world one's lock so we might have a little bit of a change of leader here as well we'll have to see if claris.com decides to use the, the hammer there he is running out of chances to use it so as both runners get in here on three six he's going to have to make a decision um, obviously this is going to be required so maybe he's playing the level just to make up his mind do i use the hammer here or do i use the hammer next world six definitely has a couple of possibilities but the pipes aren't always a, dip, and, uh, always a good option. They're not always conducive for using a hammer rock. So this is interesting. It looks like Clearest.com has decided not to use the hammer there. He said, you know what? I feel like 6 is going to be the one I need to use it on. This is still anyone's game. It's all going to come down, I think, 
to is that hammer going to be useful on world six if not what about world eight we will have to come back to that and we will excitedly do so this is going to be a, a down to the wire fight to the finish i guarantee it yo bgs still working his hardest to get caught up here he is going to find the p switch in the next column it is the fourth from the left and he will be utilizing the p switch to go ahead and get a tail opted to not use oh okay i stand corrected thank you for that Mimi fan uh, apparently clarus.com already used his world five hammer to not have to play another one okay so that's interesting. So it looks like Ivyuba does have a distinct advantage at this point. And unless Clarestat.com gets another hammer somehow, uh, that is probably going to spell, spell the finish here for this race. But obviously it's not over until Bowser falls, so we'll come back to that. Meanwhile, Teex is doing deliberate jumps on 3-6 just to make sure he does not take damage. But he will get through there no problem at all. Clarestat.com going to go ahead and use the end card. Maybe see if he can get an item or two that could help him here. At this point, definitely definitely going to need a little bit of luck and a little bit of strategy to get through here as he is about an entire level behind at this point. Ooh, 7-5 is going to be here. It does not look like they're going to have any kind of crazy things here. Unless, of course, you count the enemy set. It is, looks like it's going to be Flame Chomps and the Flame Tails. This is going to be disgusting. Oh, this is going to be terrible. Not only do the Flames, the Flame Chomps, like to jump or home in on you, but they also, the Flame Tails, like to run around and jump when you jump. Ivyuba7 looking to see if he can maybe go about getting an item here. I think it's a very good choice. And we do have the Yo BGS using a Tanuki, so we get the ever classic A Wild Tanuki appears. Come on! Very nice. And Ivy was seven taking a different path, looking to see if maybe he could get another item. It's going to be a one up, so it's not going to be necessary and not used as these runners don't care about extra lives they do care about power-ups so i'm even seven having just a little bit of a problem getting through here this could be clearest.com's chance to get through he does have a tail and that means that he could take a flight pattern over the top of seven five at the end of this this may be clearest's chance to get caught back up oh boy we're back in the runnings here folks Clarus.com wisely using a shell to his advantage here. Knows there's going to be more ta more it flame tails and chain flame fire chomps coming up. So he is going to play this one succinctly and professionally. So he will take a duck underneath here. Oh, come on. What are you doing? Not exactly sure. Oh, okay. Clarus.com deciding to let his P speed run out. That way he can fly across the top. I view was taking an unfortunate death there. He will, in fact, have to go back and play this again. But he does take a tail this time. So he's going to get through momentarily as we see Clarus.com doing. Our leadership has now just changed. Clarus.com is your new leader. Yo, BGS doing his best to catch up here on 5F2. He is running with the Tanuki. Always love to see that. Tanuki Mario is one of my favorites, so I'm... I'm Definitely pleased for that one. Uh, I view a seven having a little bit of catch up to do, and he is working to get under. He will employ just a little bit of a different strategy. Okay, decides to go ahead and go underneath. Not sure why he didn't use the the tail there to fly over, uh, but that does mean he is going to have to now go underneath and break the coin bridge to actually get this in his favor. Might go for the clip here. We'll see if he gets it. That's a good choice at this point, as he does need to get out of this level and fast. Clarus.com having a little bit of a problem with the Chungus Brothers. He is finally able to get through. Thank goodness. The Sludge Brothers can be a huge problem. Uh, no pun intended, but I'm totally going to intend it now that I realize that. Meanwhile, Clarus.com is still figuring his way through this world six maze that we have. Might go back and check in on that rock. 
He does have a hammer now. We'll see if this pushes him forward, which looks like it will. Now, the only question is, is there a problem with him getting to the World 6 Castle? There is not. Clarice.com is going to be the first one into World 8 here in just one moment. This is a swing for the ages, folks. We are swinging for the fences. We are going to see what sticks as Clarice.com is looking like a home run leader at this point. Oh, boy. Ivy with seven working furiously to get caught back up. He is going to go ahead and play a extra uh, a fortress here just to ensure that it is not required. And he will find out. Uh, he may not actually find out that this is not going to be required. But the fact is that he does not have that extra hammer, I don't believe. Which means he is not going to be able to break the rock. He is not going to be able to figure out what's up. And he is going to have to play the show strat. So at this point, Claris.com is the undisputed leader. Meanwhile, Teeks and Ibuba7 are both trying to figure out their seed as well. So uh, Ibuba7 ultimately using the P-Speed strat there, but won't be able to finish it. Had to take a little bit of a turn back. Did lose the P-Speed, but will get through with his mushroom. Teeks realizing there's an extra hammer needed, and he will have to go back and play the other fortress. So a little bit of a turn back here. And we'll have to go back and, and figure it out. Clears.com going ahead and using the Air Force to see what he's got coming. And he does find himself within a fortress. So he'll go ahead and play this one. As we are looking only for forts. No levels disguised as forts. There are five possible between the tanks, navy, air force, and super tanks. As well as the fort that could be required here. The only one that's absolutely guaranteed is going to be the the fortress if we see it pop up that usually represents world eight fortress one so very nice call from yo bgs as macobra has pointed out he went ahead and skipped the first one he saw and as all the rest of us know that was seven five which gave some of our runners a very big issue as that is a huge problematic level so well played on that clears.com going ahead and playing this hand level, I think that's very smart. Not required, but it will give an item and it's not that long. So he will get an item here and we'll see what that is here in just a moment. Yo VGS with that huge play, breaking the rock with the pipe and or breaking the rock with a pipe as well as uh, clouding over 7-5 has now spelled the leader change for our bottom match as well folks you cannot script this they, this cannot get any closer at this point takes is now behind and we'll have to work through world eight and get lucky if it comes to that in order to take it meanwhile clearest.com starting to tighten the bolts on what is becoming an absolutely outstanding race but is starting to look more and more in his favor wow folks when we promised you this was going to be a tournament we were not lying And also happens to be the reason I love being on the commentary blue. I mean, come on. All right, IB with seven looking like he's got things open. He is going to be take, chasing down Lemmy as well in his castle. And he will be getting there in just one moment. Meanwhile, Clarice.com finding 6F2, the Elsa's Fortress of Solitude. The OBGS figuring out there is one bridge, and he's got to go figure out where that's at. Yeah, uh, Clarice.com deciding to take a damage boost there. I think that's smart. That's a little bit of a... A quicker route and he will take one more damage boot that one not intentional but that will still get him through here and on to boom boom who of course as always takes three shots he is on a ledge at this point but we don't care we know how to jump and that is going to be the end of boom boom in this one so now all four of our runners are dialing it in both yogi gs and clarice.com are really on their way and on pace to taking down bowser Meanwhile, Teeks is going to be joining in World 8 to see if he can get lucky. And he's going to have to play some very, very lucky routes here in order to get a chance at this Bowser takedown first. Meanwhile, Glares.com still figuring out his route. Looking for one more. Saw the level 2 panel, so he's decided not to pursue that any further. Glares.com will find a hand. So look for the uh, the intentional takedown here. He will get it. And meanwhile, Ivy with seven currently finishing off Libby. Clears.com having just a little bit of a problem with the hand levels here. 
He does seem convinced, though, that there is a fortress or a, a tube, or a pipe, I should say, at the top of that top left corner, almost in the middle of the dark room. He may be right about that, but we'll have to see. Okay, it was not required. He was just wasting time with those. Of course, how do you know? Uh, it looks like he is going to employ a tail because that is the anchor. That is not what he wanted, so he's going to go ahead and go back to the old star uh, star fire flower trick and we'll move on out and yes uh Mew Mew fan you were absolutely correct that was one six beta it was appearing on the overworld as a hand level so it did suck him in that's not one you wanted to play necessarily but two huge upsets in the making as pro a has honestly and correctly called and that is going to be uh, just timing at this point it's it's not seconds it's maybe a minute at this point and it's not a question of if it's a question of when at this vote at this point folks both yobgs and clarus.com putting the screws down setting their mark on this tournament and saying you know what we ain't done yet yes that is absolutely correct it looks like clarus.com is going to be in the round two or I apologize, in the round three, he is about to take this down. Going to be in top four. Yogi GS will be the other in the top four. And all that it requires is for Bowser to quit jumping and let the princess go. Yogi GS going to have to take a little bit of a solo route as well. It is just not going to matter though. Bowser does not take that long to break through those four tiles. And that is going to be the end of of the rap match with Claris.com as your winner over iViewa7. Well played on both parts. Get your GGs out for Claris.com for an absolutely scintillating run. Wow. Well played. We'll get you the official time here of 35.48 is your average is the official time for Claris.com and he is your winner followed closely by yo bgs he is going to be your second winner of this category over teeks and very well played on both parts and yes paradox mine are now completely screwed up and i am out of it <laughs> but well well played Pro A, I had Teeks winning, and now that is, uh, mine's wrong too, so. <laughs> well, Siberian, I, I hope you're right at this point. Yo, VGS has really made a statement for belonging here, and, I mean, kudos. What a way to stick to it. A horrible, horrible start with the, the hitbox by Ludwig, the cannonballs appearing on the right side as he was at the goal. Of tanks. I mean, he just needed to go down the pipe and wound up taking a cannonball that, that managed to spawn on the right side of the screen as opposed to the left where the cannons were. What a wonderful comeback on your VGS's side. That's why you never give up until Bowser falls. And what an exemplary performance. Hey, I mean, you know, somebody was supposed to do it. I, I I, did not have me winning, if I'm being honest. I got my first round pick right because I had me up against Teeks. I'm like, he's killing me. I don't have a chance. But I am happy with how I played. So, you know, it, it is what it is. You take your own wins where you can. But, and that's not important here. What is important is that Clarice.com and YoBGS are your winners in this one. They will be going on to the semifinals. And it looks like Paradox will be taking on Glutamic Acid. And of course, these two winners will be facing off here in just moments. So that is going to be a Claris.com and Yo BGS face off. You are not going to want to miss this. I guarantee you that. Definitely, definitely, definitely do not want to miss this. This is going to be exciting in every sense of the word. Also, on the other side, when in the Randomania channel, we had Paradox taken on Human Mustard and Glutamic Acid taken on Dust Minion. Both Paradox and Glutamic Acid were the winners of those respective matches. 
So that is going to be your other semi-finalist, both Paradox. Oh, that is interesting. I view Seven having a little bit of a problem with Bowser there. He managed to take the corner of that of that tile. And our official time so far, we had Claris.com with a time of 35.48, as I mentioned previously. Yo BGS came in second with a 36.19. Of course, that was the first for his. He managed to take a second overall from these four. And then Ibuba 7 with a time of 39.05. And Ibu or I apologize. And Teats 88 will be here in just a moment with a time of. We'll get that here in just one second as he enters that. Paradox, what happened is time. he was not given a hammer at the same time Claris.com had. So Claris.com wound up with an extra with hammer, time I believe from the end card game. Used it at the beginning of World 6. He didn't see the second pipe. Broke the rock, was able to use the pipe to go all the way to Lemmy's castle, and took almost a half world lead at that point. Ibuba 7 did not get another hammer, so he was not able to use that, and then had to go through the long path of Bowser's as well. So the extra hammer did play out for Claris.com in the end. Very well done. We're going to see if Teeks and Ibuba 7 can maybe get in here and uh, give us a little bit of words of insight as to what happened there. Looks like we are going to have... Okay, we have Teeks joining us now in the commentating booth. Teeks, GG. Thank you. Yeah, what a seed that was. <laughs> you are not wrong. I was watching... I don't know that I have any fingernails left on any of mine. It was a back and forth on both you and YoBGS's, and then IBUBA7 and Claris.com. I mean, it was just back and forth the entire time. Yeah, I can imagine. All, all four of us are all um, you know, pretty solid runners. I know I've had a chance to see a lot of their talents play out in the, a lot of the weeklies over the past several months. So, yeah, I knew that the OBGS had a pretty solid chance at, um, at defeating me. But uh, when I saw that the, the time gap between the, both of our finishing times, I can only imagine that a lot of it could have been attributed to routing because I felt like just in terms of execution in, in the individual levels, I thought I did a pretty decent job. Uh, and, and I... Thinking, you know, maybe there were a couple shortcuts that I didn't wasn't aware of. Maybe there were some clouds and hammers that I missed from the end cards or the hammer bros. So uh, I don't really know what to make of that because some of the map layouts, like worlds four and six, ended up being uh, pretty long, and then having to backtrack with the tower in world five. I I don't know. Yeah, up until that point, uh, Yobi GS was actually way behind. He had a couple of early deaths in World 7 that were just completely unfortunate, uh, and both were caused by like, pixel errors. So uh, that uh, that is exactly what happened. In the very end, he managed to cloud over 7-5 at the very beginning of World 6, happened to get a hammer right in front of the rock next to the pipe, used it, and was immediately through an Underworld 8. I mean, he was done in just minutes out of World 6. Yep, it's always it's always seven five in World Six. Uh, I actually had this, a similar situation happen to me when I was facing the Haxer for the the speed gaming tournament. I made some pretty rough routing decisions in World Six, but even so, like I thought I I thought I did what I could with World Six, but I just couldn't find a hammer for the life of me, and I just wasn't banking on doing extra hammer bro fights. You know, doing those extra ten to twelve second fights just for the chance that you know it may or may not actually pop up, but. You no, know, lo and behold, um, you know, stuff happens. So congratulations again to your BGS. Best of luck. We are also joined in the commentary booth by Ibuva7. GG, Ibuva. Hello. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, any, yeah, any tell me. Bit of a nightmare. What, what, any thoughts on it? Yeah, World 6. What the hell? I, I, I am guessing I, I lose because of World 6. Something happened there. Yeah, that's that's definitely what it was. Yeah, I I figured. I mean, everything else was decent, uh, a little bit slow, but decent. 
World 6 was a nightmare. I think I spent like eight, eight minutes there, something like that. But this is how Rando goes, right? Indeed it is. World 5, you were able to take a bit of an advantage there. And Claris.com may just out of luck, was able to pull out an extra hammer and used it on the pipe there that took him all the way to Lemmy's Castle. So, I mean, both of your runs literally came down to an extra hammer in Group 2 uh, where you were able to break a rock and go right to Lemmy's Castle. And meanwhile, you both were left with doing World 6. It's unfortunate. Yeah. I mean, it's randomizer. That's how it works. It's not only about a skill. It's also about a little bit, bit uh, to be lucky. That's okay. Uh, GG to Claris. I wish him luck. I, I think he's facing uh, Joff. GS. He is going up against Joby GS here in just a moment. So the winner of both of yours is going to be facing off here in just a little bit as we get that all set up and everything. So it's going to be very interesting for sure to see how this plays out. Any picks as to who's going to take it at this point? Um... Well, I don't know. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Um, well, I don't know. It was fun to participate in this tournament. Uh, I think uh, I will be stop racing randomizer for a while. I, I am a little bit tired of losing to RNG. Not always, but sometimes. So. I will be focused on more vanilla SMB3. That can be understandable for sure. The RNG factor of randomizer is both extremely painful and extremely wonderful when it works out in your favor. And unfortunately, I, I fully understand that, Abby, but it's it's unfortunate to lose to that RNG. And you know, when we had the end card game and the ability for hammers to break locks and all these other things. And, Definitely understandable, but GG's nonetheless. You, you played very well. Yeah, thank you. GG to, to everyone. Thank you for Randomania to give us the opportunity to be here and to everyone that is participating, your streamers, uh, you, you guys, thank you very much. Uh, I will stay here to see the semifinals and the finals. GG to everyone. GG's to you as well, Ariba7 and Teeks. Either of you have any closing thoughts before we get out of here and get ready for the semis? I don't think I have anything more to add. I would certainly echo Ibuva sentiments. Um, yeah, it's been a it's been a lot of fun participating in this. Thank you again to Paranoia and to the folks for the behind the scenes in Random Media and the SMB3 Randomizer community for putting this all together. Um, really looking forward to seeing how the rest of the brackets turn out. And um, I def um, definitely a shame having to. Um, uh, when certain outcomes um, are highly contingent on certain RNG factors. But, you know, I still have a lot of fun doing these things. I'm still going to participate in the weeklies. And like Ibuba, I'm also going to uh, be heavily focused on vanilla. So um, yeah, I'll see you again for, for next Saturday or whenever we have one of these casual races. Um, yeah, I, I think I will take a race from Randomizer at all, even the weeklies, but I will be ready for the next tournament one shot or big tournament we have so thank you again and gg to everyone well we will definitely look forward to seeing you both for those as well and best of luck in your vanilla runs i know i can speak on behalf of a lot of our fans and viewers out there they are very very fun to watch it's always exciting to see and congrats on the pb last night teeks for sure thanks so much man i appreciate it Definitely going to be uh, focusing more on the um, on the 110 runs and 100% as uh, as soon as I sign off. That sounds like a plan. So go ahead and follow our runners. They definitely deserve it. They're outstanding runners and just played very very well today. I mean, a difference of not even four minutes between the three or the four of them were just absolutely outstanding. You know, that just shows how tight and how good this group is. And, you know, we do have the SMB3 Randomizer channel as well, so if you do like the SMB3 Randomizer, be sure to check that out. We do like to do casual races as there as well. So with that, I am going to go ahead and pass it off. We're going to take a quick break here as we get it set up for the next semifinals. I will be back on comms for Claris versus Yo BGS, so I am excited to be a part of that, and we'll be right back. 